back at the house. I have a Hummer H1 here. So this is not mine, but shout out to the owner for letting me uh, drive this thing and do maintenance on it. So today I'm gonna do an oil change on this thing. It takes about eight quarts of oil, um, pretty straightforward. Thankfully, you know, with like ground clearance for days, uh, you can just like scoot yourself under there. No jack stands needed. So I'm gonna walk you guys through this and uh, kind of show you, I guess, what it's like to change the oil on the civilian um, Hummer H1. So it's a 6.5 Detroit turbo diesel. Doesn't make a ton of power. Doesn't make a lot of torque, but it's enough to propel this thing forward with a trailer. So this thing is going to be for sale pretty soon. So if anybody's interested, uh, feel free to somehow shoot me a DM and uh, can make that connection. So a few fun things about the Civilian H1. So it's got the Monsoon audio system, subwoofers, speakers everywhere. It's got AC, it's got a heated windshield. So, and dual climate. So you got the rear and then also the front. The uh, central tire inflation and deflation system, which is kind of cool. Dual tanks and CD player, multi-disc changer. Removable top, and that's kind of about it. So we're going to go get this oil change done, let the engine warm up for a little bit, and take this thing apart. Show you guys the inside, outside of how that's done, and keep her moving. So the H1 drives kind of like how you'd imagine. Uh, it's a body on frame, with really stiff suspension. It's meant to be able to handle a uh, fair amount of load rating as well. Uh, 10,000 pound towing capacity, uh, a few other odds and ends, but uh, pretty bumpy. Again, not the end of the world, any sort of like big off-road rig. Uh, you don't buy it for the ride, you buy it for its capability. We're gonna get out on the highway. So here we go, I felt it'd be a good time to give it a little zero to 60 run at 80% throttle. Once you're up to speed, it drives very easily, plenty of passing power, and either you can set the cruise or drive it normally. Undo your hood latches, undo the brush guard pins. And then, now I should be able to do the uh, hood pin. Okay, so I had to finagle it a little bit. It's okay, probably just grease it. Um, so, I got that. Now it's time for removing and lifting up the hood. So, easiest way to do that is to jump up here, grab it from the center, and just pull straight up. So three, two, one. And then the pin will catch. And just like that, you're rocking and rolling. So there's the uh, there's the beast. 
So I've just got two fresh batteries. So we need some oil change, a little bit of fluid, uh, probably coolant flush fairly soon. So this thing's got 32,000 miles on it, so barely even broken in. Got some tools and let's get into it. So thankfully you can just kind of lay down, get under this thing. So we have our oil drain right there. And then our filter right up there. So I'm gonna put you guys down right here. And hopefully you can kind of see this. All right, so 15 millimeter, throw it on your favorite ratchet of choice. Just kind of crack that loose. Um, I think I'm gonna do the oil filter first, which is right up in there. So, oh yeah, it's hot. So I'm gonna hold that up a little bit so I don't make too much of a mess. All right, let that drain for a second. I'm gonna grab the new one. Alrighty, take a little bit of that residual oil, just grab your new filter and just lube that thing up. Check the surface, yep, that feels good. Yep, 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 cool. All right, in we go. And then I like to call it a little hand tighten plus, right there, cool. Scoot you guys back a bit. Hopefully out of the splash zone. And cool, that should work. Fifteen millimeter socket. Cool. So we definitely missed some oil. Um, slight miscalibration. I have to, might have to plant a tree for that one. All right, so grab your favorite funnel, grab some oil. Uh, this thing takes eight quarts, so that's about um, two-ish gallons. So we're just gonna start filling this thing up. Hopefully we can get some little bit better flow. All right, oil's added. Let's fire this thing up, check the level, and see where we're at. Watch that oil pressure gauge. Sweet, there we go. Looking good, so I'm gonna go check the level and see if we have to top it off at all. So then all you gotta do is just uh, throw the hood back together and you're all set to go. All right, thanks for watching.